Hi there, this is Zena with Zena Report. If you're new to my channel, I share my various adventurous travels with you. This time, we are in El Castillo, a small town located to the west of La Fortuna. Come with me as we go through the jungle, explore a permaculture tour, go to the free hot springs and see an amazing sunrise over the Arenal volcano in Costa Rica. After a long bus ride from Alajuela, with a stopover and transfer in Ciudad Casada, we finally arrived at the bus station in La Fortuna. From here, we ordered an Uber to take us to our Airbnb resort, which is in a smaller town called El Castillo, located about 45 minutes drive from the city of La Fortuna. So this is the La Fortuna bus station. There's a mountain with a massive cloud on it. And there's a me. Eh. And a boy. Ow, my neck. I'm not sure if this is the volcano or not, but it could be. It could be, either way. It's big, bold, and beautiful. It's seven minutes, seven minutes away. The Uber drive was long, slow, and also bumpy. The road had numerous potholes, which we had to avoid, but it was also extremely breathtaking and scenic. The river. The Uber driver was so kind, he stopped on the side of the road to show us some wildlife. Um, Mabachi. Mabachi. Hi! I don't want to go out. Does he? Does no, he no, bite? it doesn't make any problem. If he doesn't bite. You want to go out? No, no. If you have, and if you have food, you're gonna throw it away, and yeah. you're coming back. Very oh, close. he wants to come to the car because he thinks we have food. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. we don't. No, it's okay. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. The place we stayed at is called Essence Arenal. I booked a glamping cabin with real furniture on Airbnb for only $44 a night total after all fees. But Essence Arenal isn't really only an Airbnb. It's more of a resort slash hostel slash nature retreat. They offer many tours on their large eco-friendly property, as well as yoga classes and even natural detoxes. You can also book a standard hotel room here, and you can also book through their website or booking.com. I will leave the link down below. Okay guys, this is our tent. Here we have a closet. Here's the bed, it's right when you come in. I'm gonna bring an extra mattress for Noah. And it has a little, a little balcony here with chairs, a table, and a very, very amazing view of the volcano and the water. Bamboo trees, guys, so natural, so peaceful. And here again, the bed, the bed, beautiful towels all laid out, closet that locks, windows that open. For those staying in the tent cabins, there are outdoor sinks, showers, and bathrooms. Another cool thing in Essence Arenal is this 
garden the tea, a tea garden where you can pluck leaves off of these trees and then come in this communal room and boil some water and enjoy fresh tea. Here you also see the hot tub which provides an amazing view over the lake and the Arnal volcano. But the ants, they're walking like 500 miles. Right. Across the very left them. It is, see, and they're hustling, they don't give up. They go, They don't say I'm just gonna sit on my electronic. It was a little after 5 p.m. and we decided to take a short hike into the jungle right off the path within the resort. in this jungle. Never been in a real jungle before, people. Oh, gosh. Guys, we came to a mudslide. Okay, I don't like it. No, no, no. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, that's it? Let's go back. What's on that side though? Something good? Check, go check. While we wait, let me get this moment to, get, to tell you to like, get, tell you guys to like, subscribe, post the notification bell so you never miss any of our amazing uploads. Thank you, Noah. You heard the boy like and subscribe, please. Oh, some stuff is falling down in the jungle. It, it is, it's like really rainy and slippy. Oh guys, it got very slippery, so we're gonna be walking back, and it's getting dark. After our hike in the jungle, we were really hungry. Luckily, it was time for our dinner reservation. So we headed back to the dining room. Dinner is $16 for an adult and $4 a child. Their food is all vegetarian and really delicious. Tonight's theme was vegetable sushi. Plantains with beans. No, I'm just drinking a Fanta. And this is tamarindo juice. Guys, this is a Thai Thai soup. <laughs> yeah. Guys, this is a vegetable sushi plate for two. All vegetarian. The Delicious, delicious, yum, 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 yum. The sushi had vegetables and even watermelon, all grown locally on the property. And it came with three unique and very delicious sauces to complement the plate. My son got pasta. It was fresh with an amazing red and white sauce. Really yummy. Okay, we have tea. And we have something that I think is honey. Milk, cinnamon, and corn. 
How is this dessert? No, I'm just loving it, you guys. He malfunctioned. How good it is. They were all really loud. God, it's finished! So this is the common area. Seating. Obviously with open, beautiful views. Some games, I think. Scrabble, board games, some books. And a little fridge if you do bring your own things. These are natural tea leaves. They have mint, they have some fruity flavors. I'm not sure what they are, but it's delicious. You can mix them or use it on their own. This is like the tea garden. So you pick some leaves, you put them in one of these mugs, you warm up hot water, and you make a delicious fresh natural tea. And then you go and sit in the hot tub and enjoy. And in the daytime, this hot tub has a view that way of the volcano. But at night it's just peaceful, nice and dark. Taranal volcano guys. Right there. It's just really cloudy. Day four, is it day four? Day four in Costa Rica. We are at Essence Arenal. It's about 7.30 a.m., 7.15, 7.20. And we are here eating a freshly made breakfast, which is making for us right now. And uh, so far we have coffee, a bowl of fruit, a whole bunch of fruits in here. This is, he said, a... Uh, um, melon juice. This is the Costa Rica typical breakfast. This is French toast for home. And this is banana pancakes. So guys, we're sitting here at the reception area, food area, waiting for our 10 o'clock I think it's called Permaculture Farm Farm Tour Farm Don't mind the words on screen all over Farm. myself We're waiting for the tour And then it's going to be also Farm. a cocoa tour Farm And we're going to get hot cocoa Are you excited cocoa. for hot cocoa? Farm We headed down the trail to the farm And got to learn about the amazing nature of everything that grows here the thing, the interesting is the flower. It's an flower. ornamental plant, mm. ornamental mm. flower that does produce, my friend, soap, cleaning mm. quality, cleaning mm. property. Wow. The best antibiotics, the like that water, if you put it Hold in on. your hair, it's considered to be the best hair conditioner mm. on the planet. Oh, my friend, flower. it's considered to like, say, it's like the air air that oh. are going to yeah. feed your hair, not <laughs> like feed it, not for the Oh, the steep hill up. Mariola bees, they're golden bees. They produce this kind of wax every single day. And they don't stink, guys. So they're all over, but they don't sting. They're tiny, actually. Tiny, tiny. And he said that they make luxury medicine from this. This treats cataracts. Sugar cane. It has different, yeah. Amigos, come in. We take, we chew it, sip it. It's a sugar cane. It's raining a bit. Mm. It's delicious. Sugar. Look at it. No, no, Lollipop. Sí, <laughs> nice. Nada más lo mastica y se toma el caldo, el líquido. Es como, hace como chica. Yeah, no, como chica. Wow. He's getting, he's getting a sugar rush. Wow. Como chica. Never tasted anything like this, guys. Huh? Y después queda seco. So good. <laughs> Brain freeze.
cacao leaves growing on a tree trunk. Then we came to a little kitchen area in the middle of the farm where we were going to make hot cocoa by peeling the beans, cooking them, and grinding them, and then cooking them again with oat milk, and finally turning it into cocoa to make hot chocolate. Oh, warm cocoa beans. Mmm, it's like eating delicious dark chocolate. Yeah, like we gotta work for it. There you go. There you go, my more. Stronger. Go for it. More, more. You can do it now. You got there you go. Oh my gosh, it actually <laughs> smells like brownies. So, so good. Yeah, smell, yeah, smell. back from the farm and we were oh so ready to eat lunch. It's very hot, very hot, with a lot of smoke. Good. Have cocoa. Guys, it's a smoothie. It has star fruit, dragon fruit, what do you say, orange and banana? Star fruit. Yeah. Dragon fruit and orange. Okay, quesadilla. And a cassada and a burrito. Since we did not rent a car for our trip and all attractions in La Fortuna were far, we hired a private driver for an hour and a half to drop us off at the free hot springs. This is what the entrance to the free hot springs looks like. You just walk down that path and then you are there. I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> We're in the hot Hello. spring. Hi. Hello. There are many hot spring resorts situated around this area in La Fortuna. Most of them offer a day pass where you can come and stay for a few hours. The most popular one and most expensive one is located literally a stone's throw from this free hot spring. A day pass will run you from $75 for an adult just for early morning entry. $89 for a day pass with lunch and $110 for a day pass lunch and dinner. The free hot spring is literally a continuation of the Tabacon hot springs. So in other words, the water flows into Tabacon and then straight here. So it's the same delicious, warm, smoky water. Only for us, it was completely free. We only spent about $40 for our driver since we didn't have the car. It was a bit more crowded than usual because it was a Sunday, but I highly recommend this place. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but this is very fun. All right. I think you have to go in the middle, buddy. There's not that much force here, but be careful. Because your face can go in. Come on. The hour and a half at the hot springs went by way too fast. It was such an amazing experience. You should definitely try it. Now we walked back out to meet with our driver and head back to Essence Arenal.
The second night dinner was French themed. We started with plantains and bean dip and then we got their version of French onion soup which had a little square bread and some cheese on top. It was so good. Tonight we also treated ourselves to some frozen alcoholic beverages. They were really delicious and notice that beautiful star fruit on top. The main dish was a French quiche with tomatoes and mushrooms on the side. And finally for dessert we had some delicious chocolate mousse. Then we made it an early night. We woke up at 5 a.m. to watch a beautiful sunrise over the Arenal volcano. Hey guys, it's day 5, early morning, 6 a.m. We're getting ready to leave. We're in this cabin, tent, up in Arenal. It was our last night here. Today is a travel day. We are taking about four buses, one local bus to get to the main station, and then three buses from there. It's going to be a long, fun day on the road. Let me show you guys the Arenal Volcano. Right there. It's beautiful today. It's finally clear. And the sunrise was about half an hour ago. And the sun keeps shining on it. Alright guys, see you later. Walking to the bus. The walk to the bus was about 20 minutes, basically walking downhill through the entire village of El Castillo. It wasn't a very difficult walk though, because it was downhill and definitely scenic and really beautiful. I'm very glad we made this walk. bus arriving at 702 I'm going to Fortuna from El Castillo hmm? it's actually a really nice bus with leatherish seat we're here at the station in La Fortuna Waiting for the next bus. We are here in a little store by the bus station. And we ordered two breakfasts. He's gonna have a fried chicken combo in the morning for breakfast. Breakfast, the shayuno. Classic breakfast. Hey guys, we just got on the bus to San Ramon. It's a little after 9 a.m. The bus is actually quite empty. Not a lot of weather, so we are moving our backpack. And this concludes this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Next video is about Hakko Beach. So please remember to like and subscribe and watch my Costa Rica series.